Bit of bullet. Let's see how we get on. Let's try and practice the... Oh, damn, a little bit of a mistake there. So I was saying, the, there's a trick to playing bullet. And it is a time thing because of the short time frame. And you just really have to just fall back on your basics as best possible. Basic chess seems to work in bullet. And with the one second increment, it's a little bit of a cheat. So it could end up being a blitz match, really. But just keep doing moves. Do your count in your head as to finding your right rhythm. Queen comes across. And let's attack the queen again. Yes, let's do that. Don't overthink it. You have a moment to think, you know, it's not like you're doing silly moves. But you can get into a robotic state. Just push here. And let's hit the bishop. Although really we're not going to be taking because it's opening the rook up. And let's attack the bishop. Bishop's moving somewhere. No, okay. Let oh, rook in the centre of the board. Not castling on the king side. Interesting. Going to take the bishop. Going to take the knight for free. Oh, they must have lost their mind for a brief moment there. So this moment of pause. Let's just take it easy. We could have jumped here as well. But we're losing our minds. Let's bring the knight across. And we're cracking under the pressure. Let's take. Sacrificing the bishop. Let's take. Okay, right. So feeling fairly happy. We've got an next way through. Taking too much time to think of a move. Let's attack the queen. Time wise, not too bad. Let's push here onto the pawn. Excuse me. Let's push onto the queen. Try and keep some sort of pressure going. Let's get the knight up. There's nothing meaty here at all, but the opponent's having to think. And we do have a bit of a situation. I like this x-ray that we've got, but he does have his pieces. He's going to be able to take this pawn because we can't take. But the queen is still on there. So he's taking his king off of that x-ray now. And if this takes, pawn takes, there's nothing. Oh, the knight's got in there as well. Oh, but you can take the knight. Uh, push this pawn. On pass on. No, he doesn't do on pass on. I'm running out of time, people. Takes. Pawn takes. Right, my time is run out. I'm going to have to move the king. No, I don't have to because the queen can do that. Let's go here. Right, I'm going to have to bu bullet moves now. Absolute bullet, bullet, bullet. But that moment pause there, that was very helpful. That was the stop looking. Oh, this has got to be half decent for me now. Then let's take. Pawn takes. Attack the queen. Attack the king. Check. This has got to be the one, hasn't it? Maybe we don't do that. Push this pawn. Now the rook can take the pawn because the queen's not protecting now. There's a dilemma. It's going for the exchange. Is that worth him going for the exchange or not? Quick, 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 quick think. Let's take take he's going for the pawn dude shall we just move the king now move the king Phew. keep it simple 23 seconds 23 seconds let's take take he's got the pawns let's bring the rook across push push what was that? Okay, let's go here. Push. What's that? Uh, beep, 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 beep. Let's hit this. Let's take all oh, the panic. Maybe. I don't know. 
maybe that was meant to be. 16 seconds. You save the pawn. Damn. What am I doing? Dark square. Something. Oh my god. <laughs> Giving up my rook. <laughs> 14 seconds. Where am I? White square. Watch me steal, mate, this now. Usha! There's quite a few little pause moments in there which were okay, but I bet I think that was an ugly game. Let's have a look at the analysis when we analyze these things. It's not always a good thing. Let's go here. Bullet, bullet, bullet. In fact, we're playing bullet. I mentioned dog gonna have to bullet it out now. We're playing bullet. Right, let's have a look at this gauge bar and see what it's telling us. I'm not doing my own personal one because I felt like I was doing pause moments at the right times trying to find the better moves. So I personally feel okay with the game. But let's see if there was glaring obvious things that were missed from the opponent. Did they miss big advantages? Yeah, they gave the knight up there where they lost the mind but then I started losing my mind a bit because we've got the extra piece but what do we do with the position I mean look at it look at the position it doesn't it's nothing special is it it's like well what are you going to do all the pawns are in the on the board it looks locked down so they start pushing so we're going to see how much it drops from this minus six so we decided to just take the piece off the board and sacrifice with the bishop and it's only dropped like minus one ish you know from minus six um we felt that was okay doing that maneuver and then we did have a bit of a flap later on when the rook was facing the king and they could take the pawn but the queen was pr lovely protecting at the minute so it's still minus four minus four Rooks come up. Yeah, and that knight was guarding that area quite nicely, so that gave us a bit of an in. So we're creeping up a bit. Minus nine now. I bet you we didn't do a minus nine move. This is saying, what is it? Nine. E3, check. E3. Ooh, interesting. So I don't really know why, but never mind. It just drops four points, but that's okay. It's still minus fives. And then we move the king, feeling fairly okay. But it must drop at some point here because I'm sure it wasn't the best. This is where it felt ugly, but we're feeling there's advantage of being able to push. So quite happy that the gauge bar is, even if it wasn't, I'd still be happy with the game anyway. But the, the gauge bar is working with us on this occasion. Oh, bless them, they left the rook there. And these things happen. So at this point here, then it's easy to stalemate these things, but it's mating five. Obviously, I didn't do five moves at all. Probably going a little bit too far. Giving up the rook. It's, it's still sorry, mating my, minus eight, so that's okay. Nothing to lose any sleep over. Yep. And I think that's the whole, oh, it's not going to dip from here now, is it? Nah. Nice one. So stop, look, and listen to the pieces. Seems to be helping, working out. Like I said, it's not 100% proof, but a brief moment to really look at the position. And in this game here, being able to sacrifice pieces for a better position, giving space for the queen to get around to their king area, put a little bit of pressure in the area that, you know, they're, they're lacking in defensing. Um, we had lacking in defensing in our King Gary, but they just didn't have enough pieces to help support their attack. So it could have gone either way. 2-1. Let's get this practice of stop, look and listen. Trying to find the better positions using that pause moment to just think and try and improve the position if there's the opportunity to do so. 
but key thing with bullet is time management so we just need to be mindful of the time but we don't need to rush it even in bullet you still have a moment to try and find that position the correct position so we just see what the bishop actually wants to do let's take so we're ahead slightly on time but let's just focus it's probably just taking let's just do that just in case so we've got them thinking already which is good time management is key queen's coming down for the bishop but we can take the queen off the board double the pawns with a check castle for safety and shall we bring the rook into the game owning this file bring the other rook owning the file let's just double up wants to bring his pawns back into line let's just do that let's do that okay that square bishop wants to get into the game that would be nice but we're not getting that so attack the knight's got no protection and shall we take just to gain more space get the king up so it's same same pawns on this side here same pawns on this side we've got doubled and we can bring the rook here looking to come here but we're not going to do that just yet so I bring the king across supporting probably puts a check on with his rook come across then he drops down no okay let's go here could quite easily be a draw but puts the check on we go here baiting the pawn down drops it's coming for this pawn rather let's go here yeah okay take comes down let's support the pawn so what are the weaknesses so far at this moment in time that he's looking fairly hefty with this area i'm going to push this pawn up and i think that should be it let's just push this pawn up and we can hit this pawn that would be quite nice let's take this one okay right so now we have space to move the rook coming around maybe attacking the king or attacking the other pawn his rook will come around here around the back we can hit this pawn takes takes but then his rook comes down and attacks this pawn i'm actually going to go for this one let's attack this one time's running out I'm going to take the pawn all right so the king's not getting into this space so we could run around this side looking to attack the king this way and he's not having any of that let's bring the rook up time's running out now so he's moved his rook across let's hit the king and let's come here attacking this pawn rook comes to defend let's move the rook up let's move it across let's put a check on we're not moving fast enough let's go back here again and let's come down here for the pawn let's go back up again don't think it's going to flash a draw is it let's go here and he's got the pawn but i feel it's survivable Bull. let's go here with the king let's put the check on the king let's come round the back he's putting a check on our king with his rook no he's not okay let's put a check on the king put a check on the king let's come round the back let's put a check on the king and again and again and it hides this time around the back let's come here attack this pawn this rook puts a check on the king let's go here 32 we're on let's take and shall we move up let's push push 
and it looks like we're going to get this pawn but he's got this pawn that's passed so we can put a check on his king and then come across attacking the pawn moves his king gets a check on our king yep let's go here get down to 17 seconds it's protecting the pawn let's take with the king and let's put a check on the king. So well, let's see what we can do. Bring the rook all the way down. Let's put a check on the king. Let's attack the rook. They might forget themselves. And oh, they have done. Okay. So he does have two past pawns. And they've resigned. So yeah, very scrappy game. They potentially really could have won that. Let's have a look at the analysis. But pressure of time really created a bit of situations for them in the latter part of the game, I think. Because I think they have better moves. The stop, look and listen type thing, looking for those better moves, can help. I think maybe it was a bit of a swindle from us, just constantly moving the rook, attacking pieces. When they could have, if they had a bit more time, probably started jostling their rook and the pawns, you know, supporting the king and the pawns down. Yes, yeah, so look in this situation here, it's at minus at the moment. But it's not anything great at the moment, it's just um, more drawish, 0 0.1, 0 point at this moment. I'm sure there's a situation, I believe, where when they actually grab that pawn, yeah, with the rook, I'm sure that was a winning. So at this moment, it's fairly even. We're just being a bit of a nuisance, attacking the pawns, coming around. We've got to see that drop when the rook takes the pawn. Keep going around, still showing drawish. And at this point here, it's minus three. So that's when they take the pawn. So it's minus three, which is good for them. But with the time factor, I mean, it's there, 46 seconds there. So they've still got time to make the appropriate moves. And you'd think that they would start jostling the pawn down, you know, the B pawn because it's passed. And, but they bring the rook back and then they bring the king across. And then it's minus four, four, seven. So in my head, I knew there was something that they could do to win the game. But if we could just um, make it look like we're in the game and putting the checks on. So again, evening out a little bit so pushing the pawn down but the king keeps moving and it's saying rook b8 rook b8 rook b8 check that's me no that's me it's my go <laughs> okay and king a4 king b5 no it's saying the king go back but it's still minus 4.7 so there's something they could have done, rook c3 check, which they do, we move the king and they go for a pawn, what should they have done, king c4, so move, they should have moved out of the way, but again we're going to be putting checks on the king, so I think it's fairly difficult for them to find it, but they do have two pass pawns now in this position, so really we shouldn't stand a chance. Saying king c4 again, which it's doing now. And do, 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 do. rook takes h4. Yeah, so it should have taken h4, but it's still minus six. So that's pretty hefty, really. And it's saying the king there, so yeah, should have taken the rook there, the pawn there. Yeah, minus four, minus six. Yeah, so we're just playing on the time factor. I mean, 22 seconds is still a long time and it's a one second increment and it is now minus seven. So they allow us to get the pawn. And really it should be a win for them. Look at the gauge bar, minus seven. Rook g8, it should have been. 
minus 12 now look at that there's no way of winning they're on 11 seconds so pressure of time is starting to kick in and as we said in certain situ situations just don't give up because the opponent may make a mistake so then obviously the rook comes down attacking the rook bit of a panic thing there and then we can take it off the board and then they, re they resigned thankfully they resigned they didn't just sit there and you know leave the game so it's very rare that you see a resignation playing in the anonymous area so interesting game again it's we're just practicing the stop look and listen and this worked okay for us in this game and as you can see the opponent had advantages all the way through the um, end game part of this um, game but because either the time factor was getting to them or they just didn't know how to find the better moves to improve their advantage well that's the game of chess you know that happens with us when, we, when we've got more pieces or we've got better positions and sometimes we just cannot find that finishing move so just because you've got more pieces on the board doesn't really mean you've won the game until the game is done okay another bullet 2-1 let's practice this stop look and listen trying to find those better moves sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't but i think if you're focused on doing something then sometimes it does ha actually happen for you i'm going to put a check on the king didn't think there was going to let's just take the palm let's attack the king let's take the bishop and let's castle let's take the queen let's attack the pawn it's got no protection currently so the king has to come and defend so they've not castled now let's bring the bishop out let's bring the bishop here let's take and the bishop's attacking how rude let's go here let's go here let's attack the pawn okay so this is a situation the king is not there at the minute so i'm overthinking the situation oh no what i've done that's bad that's bad that's not good that's not good dude Ooh, dear he could have just got a rook off the board there so he's got like 3 million pieces on there now. We've got the knight protecting. We can't go here now. So it looks like this player's a bit swish. A little bit swish with the moves. So we're going to have to tighten up and see if we can get across here. If he doesn't exchange. Uh, oh. Let's take first and then let's attack the rook. And check on the king it's got three million pieces on there we can't really do that can we well we can we can because it's a check on the king and we can take but then he can take here and then we can take here and then we can take here oh do we lose a po oh we lose the rook oh oh okay it's even it's even cracky i thought, <laughs> I thought we lost the rook okay this is a zugzwang situation now isn't it Gonna run out of moves, so one. Gonna run out of moves, aren't I? Look at him counting now. Yeah, I've, I've run out of moves. Sam it. So I'm gonna have to move here and he moves across. Gonna move there. But luckily that that's protected, but he can just drop down here. So now I'm going backwards. Yeah. There's no, I don't know why they've gone there. What's that give, that's given us a din. Has it? Well, may, not maybe because he's, um, so now he has to move. So he's just going to move across or not. If we go here, they need to, oh my God, got no time to count. We go here, he takes, we take, he takes. Oh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work we're just gonna have to go up and down yeah it don't work 
threefold thank you very much okay let me just have a look at it i don't think it did work we were uh do, 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 do. so it's showing jo, 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 jo. That, that, that. yeah oh what did i miss b4 oh come on Oh, that's going to stick in forever now if I ever get a position like this. B4. What does he do? Well, he wouldn't probably take, wouldn't he? But this computer, well, no, yeah, take. Then we take. And the king's round. Oh, that's probably what I had subconsciously in my head, and I just thought it's not working. Something along them lines, but maybe I was thinking more of the king coming up and taking. Oh, damn it. So, what's his move next? He's not going to push this because that's passed, so it's saying B2. It's actually saying H3, so can we not go for this pawn? Yes, we can in gear three, but we then can't take. Hmm. So it's saying we're fast enough to come across here and get these pawns then if we're taking. Takes the B6, takes A4, then we just go zooming across. Yeah, we're fast enough, aren't we? One, two, um, 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 um. Um, H3 blocking comes down got time to go here takes and then now we've got the pawn yeah so that would have been a longer winded way of doing it but that was the advantage oh kicking myself okay, 2 1 again in a lot of games as white lots of games as white is this person not starting? Okay, let's go. Let's push in the center. Let's just block the pawn. Let's get the bishop. Oh, that's a funny queen move. So they're probably thinking don't overextend, just move pieces around the back and win on time type thing. Let's bring the knight here supporting the pawn. And let's start hitting. Let's take. Let's take. It's a very special game. Looks like they've left the game. Okay, you find these in bullet, even in the higher rated games. Not that they give these pieces up, but you know, some games end very quickly indeed. Okay, strange one. Okay, 2-1. Let's just attack the pawn. Let's attack the queen. Let's attack the queen. Let's take the queen when you're ready. Lost a bit of seconds there. Let's develop the knight. Let's get the pawn bishop out. Let's, uh, maybe not just yet. Let's push the pawn. Let's attack the knight. Let's take the bishop. Why am I overthinking this? Let's attack the knight. Let's take Bring the rook here. Shh, this rook. Too much thinking, dude. Too much thinking. Let's go with the bishop here. And here. Attack the knight. Let's uh, bring the knight up. Looking for the exchanges, but no exchanges happening. Let's get this bishop here. Let's take. Maybe we don't take the knight with the bishop now. Maybe we 
try and find something a little bit better. We go here though, the night's gonna move and the rook's on ours. Ooh, interesting situation. He gets a passer. Don't think we want them. Let's go here. Right, used up about 20 seconds there. That's not good. So he's attacking. So we'll just bring the bishop here. And let's attack the knight. What's he doing? Goes back to where we came from. Yep. Okay. Let's bring the bishop here. King's getting all... Let's go here, see if we can get it out of the way, whichever way. It's going to sit there. And are we ready to rock and roll? Let's hit the king. Let's move the king. Let's take, partially owning the file. Gives us space to move here. Do we get trapped though? Because his knight's probably just going to jump in here. But we can take a few pawns if he does that. So attacking the knight. The rook comes to defend. So we're down seconds. So we're going to have to move a lot faster. Uh, take the knight. Take the pawn. Move the king. White king's on a white square. Bishop, bishop, bishop. Um, attack the pawn. Oh, we can't take. Moving too swift, dude. Can't take. Now he's got to check on the king. Oh, totally fluffed that, didn't we? Going to take. And this time we're going to take with a check on the king. Staying near the rook. Attack the rook. Thirty nine seconds. What's he doing? Bring the rook down. Two on one on the pawn. Got no no time to be thinking fancy, but we've got to think also defence, I think. Let's take So what's the king got? Let's push. No stopping. No stopping. Let's go. Okay, not having a bad run so far. So we probably going to start suffering now with tiredness of the eyes or something or the other so let's just see if we can crack on and this is the second to last game now and we'll see how we get on let's just capture let's just capture let's take the queen off the board let's just attack the pawn it's got no protection for a brief moment Let's take the bishop, oops, excuse me, take the bishop, double in the pawns. X-ray in through to the king. Queenside castle in with a check. Attacking the pawn, no protection for a brief moment. So at least we're winning a bit of time. I'm going to just support this pawn. Let's 
attacking the knight. Knight could go and attack the rook, but it doesn't have a, an out. So we're going to just come back. And for me, I think we're going to not give the knight up. Now we're going to attack the pawn. Let's move their dead quick. Have they missed out on something? Let's just take. No, I don't think they have really, have they? Let's take this pawn. Let's see if we can own the file with this rook as well. Let's take. Let's bring the knight here, looking to maybe attack their rook. Attacking the pawn, I'm going to attack the rook. Knight's defending the pawn at the minute. Take with the king. Move the king. Just thinking, is the knight putting a check on the king? Also. Maybe attacking the pawn. Get the pawns elevated, stopping the king somehow. And then think about what our knight is doing. Going to push. Trying to make some space. Attacking. Attacking. Knight's coming around. Let's go here before they start getting funky. Checks on the king. Ooh, he's got our pawn in the corner. Let's go. Let's take this one. Comes down for a check on the king. Spend so much time attacking this knight though. He's just whirlwinding. Attack the pawn. They're losing time. Oh, we can't do that. And he is protecting the pawn there. Oh, yeah. Let's attack this one. Let's attack. 11 seconds to run. Is a second increment if they start whizzing the moves. Oh, bless them. So we could double the pawns, couldn't we? And then, yeah. Take with a check. Try and support these pawns if we can. Have I put my knight in a bad position? I have. That's a silly position, really, I think. And if he does take the pawn, then we're running home. Always got to avoid taking the pawn that's on the back because this pawn, the king's never catching it. Okay, that's the second to last game. We'll go in for the last one. Okay, last bullet for today, just practicing the stop, look and listen, trying to improve the positions on the board, trying to find those better moves, let's take and take and nothing else doing there, let's just push the pawn, a little bit of overthinking there, let's attack the queen, let's take the queen off the board, bishop comes through and bishop's coming through, it's white square bishop, there we go. Oh, too much thinking there. I thought it was taking this pawn if I moved the dark square bishop. So attacking the pawn, it's got no protection. Queen, yeah, it's going to queenside castle. Let's see if we can trap their bishop. No, he's not falling for that. Let's take the knight and let's attack the rook. And let's hit the rook, maybe, no. Okay, rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. Don't overthink it now. I've gone into think, think, think mode, but I don't need to do that. Just move, move, move. Let's bring the rook here. 
Bishop's got no protection and we've got two pieces in front of our um, rook, so it's not going to pay much dividends. And let's do the move here. It's taking. Is there something I'm missing? Sacrifice the bishop for. Is there some weird tactic? Doesn't look like there is. Going to attack the rook. Rook's kind of condensed in, so we're going to get the rook. Still thinking, was there a tactic with that? This sacrifice. Did he think he was getting that for free? Or did he think he was getting this for something? I don't understand. That was weird. And it looks like they're probably not going to make a move now and just let the time run out. So, yep, stop, look and listen to the pieces, to the position. Take that moment's pause to have a look at what's going on on the board. And you do get in bullet, you get all sorts of strange stuff. I'll do all sorts of strange stuff as well. Um, mouse slipping, misclicking, misplacement of pieces. It all happens in the game of bullet. Case in point in this one here. Sometimes you see positions that really aren't there. You know, the mirage of chess. Yeah. Oh, I've got a gold. So like this position, this person took this pawn, maybe they had some sort of tactical thing in their head. But it, in practice, it wasn't actually a real move. And they have left the game. We'll claim victory on that. 